Hi all you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Ask Mark and welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine. Uh, Ask Mark is where we answer your scuba diving questions to the best of our abilities. Uh, so if you do have any scuba questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Use this Ask Mark hashtag and it gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. Um, Today I'm answering a question from Ben Heckendorn uh, about dry suit socks or boots. Ben says, hi Mark, I wonder what you would recommend. I'm looking for a dry suit, but I'm not sure if I should choose them with socks or boots. Uh, thanks and greetings from Switzerland. So personal preference when it comes to boots or socks, they both have their pros and cons. Boots are the most convenient, but some divers prefer the flexibility of socks. Having used both, my next dry suit will probably have boots fitted to them. So boots, the benefit of boots are they're very quick and easy to don and doff because they're all fitted. You're in your dry suit undersuit. When you're ready to, um, to get in, just dry suit on and then zip it up and you're in. Whereas with a, uh, a dry suit with socks, you have to have a rock boot over the top. And these ones are... are quite cumbersome because they've got laces you do get some with like velcro and some with the modern um like quick lace system where you like rotate something and it just zips it all up but uh, yeah laces when you're fully like kitted up except for your dry suit and whatnot uh sorry except for your, your bcd and everything it, it it's surprisingly far away how far your feet are um, especially if you've just had lunch and you're going on uh, on second dive so like kitting up and even like dry suit storage because it's best after a dive to hang them upside down by the boots so that if there is anything inside any moisture or whatever is naturally going to like be drawn down so we get actual dry suit hangers and they're like a, a three prong and you just put the two boots on that and it hangs up from the boots with socks they just slip straight out so you have to do something a little bit weird and then dry the socks out um, so yeah boots are pretty good for um, just general convenience and it's it's it's, it's, it's all in one and um, the downside is if you're if you're an instructor and you spend a lot of time walking around on the deck or on like rough shingle and you're wearing those boots as soon as you wear through the boot and water starts to get in then you have to send your entire dry suit off to get the boots swapped over it's not cheap because it's pretty hard to like get on the inside and do it all um so yeah they're also <clears throat> I mean, it basically means that you're without your dry suit for at least a week unless you do it yourself um, but doing it yourself is a real pain um, and it is pretty expensive to um, to swap boots over um, they're also quite limiting as far as sizes um, unless you can try them on at first and make sure that you get the right size you, you really want it to be the exact size if it's a little bit too big it can be a bit of a pain because your foot on the inside of the dry suit boot is going to slip backwards and forwards some of them nowadays they tend to call them like tech boots and they have a um uh, like a section of velcro just like around here just to hold your ankle in place so your foot doesn't move around inside of the boot if it's too small that's just gonna suck um you might think that you can cope with it but if you notice it when you first put it on it's really gonna annoy you like after an hour's dive uh, and your feet are just gonna feel like that so it's got to be the right size not too big not too small and it's got to allow for different like undersuit socks depending on what you're gonna wear um i think those are the main downsides um to boots and the main benefits of boots being they're real convenient as far as socks so socks you tend to get a neoprene or just a membrane sock and they're a bit more forgiving to different shoe sizes some 
it is better to go too big than too small um, again for the same reason but they um, they do like concertina down um, you then have the additional cost of a rock boot over the top of it um, whereas the the cost of the boot is usually in the price of the dry suit um, and there's really a price reduction for uh, for socks or at least that I've seen um, so it is an additional investment benefit is that one as you can see you can get more of a proper boot style and a, a full-on like laced up fit so it's a bit more comprehensive you get a better choice or a wider choice of like the, the boots and the treads and all that kind of stuff um what was I going to say? Yeah, so the the boots and the fin like moves a bit more naturally. It depends what you prefer. You can get some with like steel toe caps and stuff, but I suppose you can get some that are fitted with steel toe uh, steel toe caps. Um, but yeah, it you can have multiple boots as well, and because you're lacing it up, if you are wearing like not the exact size um then it's a bit more forgiving um and if you do wear through your rock boots you just get a replacement pair of rock suits uh, rock boots you still have your um uh, your dry suit your dry suit is still water ideally watertight um but yeah it does come down to uh, to personal preference um i used to teach with integrated boots and yeah, it's very convenient. Um, then with my next dry suit, I got one with uh, with socks because I thought, oh yeah, rock boots. Um, try it out, see how it works. And yeah, it's fine. But <clears throat> when you're in a bit of a rush, because um, I use these in my uh, my commercial course, it's it takes that little bit longer whilst everyone else is like kitted up and ready and sorting out the rest of their kit, I'm still there like trying to lace up my boots. So they're not designed for just boom, let's just get ready. Uh, it takes a bit more work. And having done that uh, for the two week course, it, it just, yeah, I, I was always just thinking, gosh, it would be so much easier if I just had integrated boots. And a lot of them nowadays are much better than they used to be. Some used to be renowned for um, for weaker sole treads. Uh, the old, older uh, waterproof ones, the um, uh, the sole, it's a uh, it's a catch twenty two. You want it so that the the sole can be like a little bit flexible, so you get a bit more natural movement in your foot, but they wear through um, faster so waterproof made them tougher it really is personal preference though uh, they're both good options um, personally yeah boots like integrated boots are probably the best way or the most common favored way um, socks do have their benefit but yeah, unless you're really flexible, um, I'm getting a little bit older now, so it's getting harder to reach down and find my um, find my feet uh, to do up laces, especially when you're in a, um, a bulkier undersuit. Um, whereas yeah, boots are just whoosh, and they're on. Um, and a lot of the um, the integrated boots now are pretty clever, and the the tech boots as well just eliminate that need for for laces. So um, yeah, I'd probably lean more towards boots now. Some divers prefer boots, some divers prefer um, prefer socks. They're both fine options. That's the important thing to remember. Um, unless you can find like a really nice pair of um, um, of like rock boots that really like suit you and uh, are convenient, then um, and it's not the end of the world if you uh, you do develop a leak in your um, uh, in your dry suit boot and you can be without your dry suit for um for like a couple of weeks maybe even more depending on how busy they are unless you can change boots yourself uh, which is a bit of a, a, um, a niche skill um if you're a professional diver yeah it's always best to have a, a backup dry suit but um yeah for, for pure convenience integrated boots are better um, for uh, 
a real like rugged um, option, then you can get the um, uh, the rock boots with um, uh, with socks. But that's just my personal preference. Um, yeah, my next dry suit is probably going to have built-in boots just for the convenience, just so I can get it on and uh, and go diving as opposed to trying to do up laces. Um, because at the end of the dive as well, you're, you're knackered. You, you've just like lifted your twin set out of the water and all that. And now you've got to just uh, bend over and undo your uh, your boots. And, uh, and you've got to lengthen off all of these. Um, I have seen some nice ones. I think they were End Diver, uh, Northern Diver. And they had like a quick lace system. Uh, they also do some with like zippers up the uh, up the tongue, which uh, look a bit more convenient than um, than these boots. But um, yeah, personal preference. My my next dry suit is probably going to have integrated boots. Um, let us know what you dive and why um, down in the comments below. If you prefer boots over socks or socks over boots. Um, yeah, they, they both do the same thing, just in slightly different ways. But let us know which you prefer down in the comments. Um, and next to that, if you have any scuba diving questions, put them down in the comments as well. Use the Ask Mark hashtag. It gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. And then head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.